All right, what's up, y'all? Good morning. It has been a few days since I've done a video. I've been in a, you know, one of those too busy and uh, not enough creativity spurts. But I had a, the other day on site at a job, I had an emergency call with, they couldn't get the door open. And uh, they even said it was a Schlage latch. So when somebody pinpoints that, that leads me to believe that they've already messed around with it and seen the Schlage written on the thing here. Um, and sure enough, it was a B60. This is not the deadbolt, but this is the latch. Um, and I'm gonna use this deadbolt to show you what's wrong with it, and then we're gonna take a close-up look. Now, these are the B60s, which are very robust. Um, and, and I always tell people, back 10 or 15 years ago when Schlage did their B360, those were horrible. I, we didn't recommend Schlage, but ever since they came out with the B60 and the B560, which is the big brother, the little bit better quality, they both use the same latch, however, and those latches have proven to be very, very good. If you compare them to the 360 latches, they are miles ahead of that. But um, the, uh, and we do recommend now people, uh, even if you get a B60 series, which is the uh, more common version, it does have its own little quirks and flaws, but the latches have always been really good. They when they first came out with these, we have a, a pamphlet somewhere showing um, they signified the bolt, the 15% larger bolt that comes out. And it is indeed 15% larger about than your standard bolt and even your old bolts. We'll come over here to the camera and show the size difference. I know y'all want to see a size difference there. So it did definitely, if not more than 15%, it is a definitely a bigger bolt and it is very robust i was impressed with their mechanism here on changing it from two and three eighths to two and three quarter well two and three quarter to two and three eighths um, it is similar to this one however i have found this little nub right here can get slipped up under slip up under this if it bends out and this one has a nice little roll pin type uh, where are we roll pin type mechanism um so yes the bolts are very good but every so often you're still gonna have problems now this one was caused by a problem of it being on a door that it really wasn't made for big heavy steel doors double doors now the double door the inactive door that usually latches with the flip bolts on the side of it those have been destroyed a long time ago Somebody had come in and put surface bolts, which were also destroyed. There's literally only one little bolt holding it on the door, and we do have to go back and fix that. That's gonna be quite a bit of work, but you can yank the doors. And on double doors, when there's a lot of play in it, what that does is it does this to the latch. It makes it whack back and forth. And that's what it was doing, back and forth, back and forth, when somebody would pull on the door to rattle it, and Basically, it bends the inside of the latch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bad boy apart and see what's inside. So here goes the first, second, part, third, maybe part of what's inside. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look, closer look at this latch, see what's going on. I have a new latch by comparison. And let's go ahead and set them both to the same back set they were two and three quarter back set on this door commercial like i said commercial steel door so up here zoom in a little bit better and uh so we're going to take the latch as we had it on a door here's a deadbolt we're going to mock it up in the deadbolt see what it was doing And that's what it was doing. It was not pulling back. They said they couldn't get the door open and sure enough, I put it on the door, tried it, it worked fine. And I was like, okay, well, working fine. What's going on here? And so I kept trying it and here in a minute, we will see. Oh, there it goes, freezes up and you can't undo it from the inside either. But if you 
wiggle it, all of a sudden it goes. So there is a issue going on there. And if we look at a new one and an old one together, we'll see that when you flip that, get real close here. So see that pivot right here is attached to this mechanism. And that pivot goes up in the square cutout and basically throws this bar, which throws it out and vice versa to withdraw it. You turn this, it goes up in that square hole and pulls it back. So what's wrong with this one? Well, that bar is apparently bent. See how it jumped a track right there? Watch. And it's especially evident if you do what it did on the door and wiggle it back and forth, it will go into a state where, I don't know if you can see it, but the hole here is too far over because it is not sitting in there flat like it's supposed to. So when that goes up, it's hitting, let's see if we can do it, get forward, there it goes. Just turn the bolt a little bit and see the thing is not going up in there. And if we twist it or wiggle it, then it's allowed to go up in there. So that part is bent down in there and is uh, causing the problem. So let's go ahead and pop this off now. These are kind of weird to take apart. You can switch the face plates out on these by putting it on a firm surface, putting a flathead in there and then giving it a twist like that twist like that this is if you needed to switch it to a round corner face plate which i try not to do i hate breaking that seal but you do sometimes have to do that and taking this off and there is also a conversion cap that lets it do drive-in i hate those as well i do not recommend it it is a little cap that comes with all these and you just snap it on and the two things snap in right there do not recommend doing that at all, but sometimes you just have no choice. So let's take a look at this and see if there is a weakness in the seam somewhere. There is not. This is formed all the way around, except for this part right here. And I need a better, uh, this is where you stab yourself. Hopefully I won't do that this morning. Let's go ahead and push this out of the way. It really didn't do anything, did it? No, Jason, it did not. Okay, let's go ahead and throw it out. See if we can't just break, break the same. Well, not break. So let's do this because we're going to move it over to this desk in a second anyway. Ah, this is where we need to be. So what we're, we're going to do just to see what the problem is since the bar is on the top edge there to avoid messing it up. I'm going to cut it right here and then just cut it across this. Oh no, I don't have to do that. I don't have to do that. Ah, that's what held that in. That's all that helps. Hmm. All right. Well, so we don't have to cut, but we're about to cut anyway. So we can see this bar right here is just really, it, it, you can't really tell because I don't have one. I'm not going to destroy a good latch to show the example, but that is the mechanism that's broken in there. Okay, here we have a little uh, mechanism that we don't know, a little spring steel. That probably gives it the little bounce that it needs. And there's our pivot. So, All right, so let's look at one other thing since we've got this off now. We're going to 
investigate one other little question that I'm going to try to do in most of my what's inside videos. And that is really determine how good of a latch it is. We all know, we, you know, they all say solid steel and you look at it and you're like, wow, it comes out and that is one big chunk of steel. And this is behind that. So that gives a good, what is that? Three quarters of an inch. I cut myself, I should have band-aided that, sorry. Um, so yeah, you know, and especially when it's extended like this, that kind of is a weaker surface, surface compared to that. But overall, seems to be good. But then we look and we go, wait a minute, how, how deep does that go? What, what is this? Let's take this off. There it goes. So that is just a pen that is simply press fit in that holds this mechanism and look at that so we cannot be solid fellas but we do have a drill pin in here or a anti cut uh magnet 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 it is metal set this aside not metal metal not metal all right so that's another interesting point there but let us go ahead and just put this back in look how deep that is dirt hmm very interesting so altogether it is going to have three layers you know and like we talked about in the what's inside the quick set latches video there is not really you're not ever going to see a cut except from a fire department fire department love their cutting tools so let's uh if this was in the door just like this i am going to um uh we're going to do the what's inside thing but we're going to have to try to keep this so that it's in there because that's how it would be you know on a door so we're gonna mount this up and uh, try to make it so that it's cut where it would normally be cut. Right about, it's gonna be hard to get to. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and just cut it right there. All right, let me get this all powered up and we're not gonna actually cut it, we're gonna grind it. Just like, for instance, a fire department would do when they use their cutter you usually use a diamond cutter to do that but we have to get uh, our safety gear on before we do this so be right back all right y'all again do not forget your safety gear you're gonna do a double layer of glasses to protect the eyes and my locksmith ear muffins that's to keep the bugs out Got to protect your herring. All right, I kind of got to put it back together because um, I don't want it separating while I'm grinding. So I'm going to kind of crimp this back together. There we go. All right, getting a cut right here.
Okay, y'all. Oh, stinky and probably hot as heck. But let's see what happened here. Oh. All right, y'all. No, just joking. We're gonna get a pair of pliers for this sucker. All right, let's see what happened over here. All right, as expected, we've got the. Did we go through? Yeah, we went. Through, we went through the pin. That is probably hotter than heck. We easily went through the outer skin of it and uh, didn't bog down until we hit the thing that it was attached to. There we go. That is your cross section of a Schlage B60, B560 deadbolt latch. While it is hollow, it also does have the hardened pin and another layer of something there. There we, we just lost the pin, but here comes the comes that center piece. Let's see if we can get it out with, oh, there's the, here's the other half of the pen. So I got pen, pen, and the center piece. And that is what it looks like cut in half. All right, guys. So I hope that Learned you something you didn't know before. <laughs> Does have a hardened steel insert ah, and is not metal. Ah, gotta be careful there, it's still hot. All right. So, again, let me fix my hair. So, again, guys, thanks for watching yet another episode of What's Inside. Thanks for watching. Catch y'all next video.